No one gets more than three wishes from a genie. Well, Aladdin might be an exception to the equation. It seems like Jafar will not be returning for the sequel, and despite the story of the animated movie going in that direction, we are getting a fresh new approach to things. However, with the old people behind the scenes, a possible release date, and a story for the sequel, which could benefit the entire franchise for the best. Guy Ritchie did a phenomenal job with the live-action adaptation of the famous Aladdin, and with the official announcement of a sequel coming up, we are here today to tell you all about it! It is clear that Disney is keen on their strategy of adapting live-action movies and series from all of their classic animated movies, and with three remakes already under their belt, all of which released in 2019, we can see that their plan is working, and the company is on the right path! The first movie, as we said before, directed by Guy Ritchie, starred newcomer Mina Masood in the titular role, with Princess Jasmine portrayed by Naomi Scott and Will Smith as Genie. The movie smashed the box office, managing to gather $91 million in the opening weekend alone, securing Disney another massive success, which ended up earning over $1 billion worldwide. And it should come as a no-brainer that Disney already renewed the franchise for a sequel, one which we think is going to be an even bigger project when compared to the first movie. And although Disney has no shortage of animated classics left to adapt, this should not hint at the fact that the company is not ready to make a sequel for any of their live-action adaptation projects, which can clearly be seen with the Maleficent franchise. Thus, with all of this in mind, let us take you on a little story adventure as we go through some of the key moments of the first movie, and how that story sets up the sequel, which has already been confirmed to come to the big screen. And before we move forward with our video, we should mention that there will be spoilers up ahead. You've been warned, and with that out of the way, let us continue! The first movie story follows the animated movie fairly closely, right to the end where Aladdin tricks Jafar into using his final wish to turn himself into a genie, becoming trapped and powerless in his lamp. Iago tries to fly away, but Jafar grabs him and drags him into the lamp as well, with Jafar vowing that one day he will get his revenge on Aladdin for what he has done. A very good foreshadowing for a sequel. Just like in the 1992 movie, Genie flings the lamp containing Jafar through the desert, adding that a couple of thousand years in the Cave of Wonders should do the trick to cool him off. But this didn't stick the first time around, as Jafar was able to return just one year later after his absence. And with this in mind, we can see that there are myriad ways of how Disney could bring the villain back for another showdown with Aladdin. However, knowing the fact that Aladdin 2 is set to be an original story, we should not be getting a sequel which could go along with the lines of the infamous Return of Jafar, a remake from the animated movie sequel. The sad truth about the Aladdin sequel is that although it has been confirmed for quite a while now, the large quantity of source material means that the sequel will not be coming for a while now, as Disney has already announced so many projects in the upcoming three to five years, which seems to be the same time period in which Disney plans to release of their live-action adaptation sequels. A prime example is the case with the Alice in Wonderland sequel, Alice Through the Looking Glass, a movie that was released six years after the first one. Disney has already released their schedule for their future movies all the way through 2027, including several as-yet-untitled live-action movies. And while not all of them will be remakes, it is safe to say that many of them will be. And when everything is taken into consideration, like the state Disney are in right now, no shortage of live-action remakes already in the pipeline, unfortunately, we might not get to see Aladdin 2 for several years. We would think that even the year of 2025 would be a long shot. However, if Disney is to stick to their sequel release pattern, we should be getting a Latin sequel by the end of 2026. Maybe that will be the exact amount of time until Jafar cools off in the Cave of Wonders. Why change things when it is working? Well, it seems like Disney is also thinking in the same way, as Guy Ritchie has been announced to take the helm of things for the sequel as well. In addition to Ritchie, screenwriters Andrea Berloff and John Gaddens have also been announced to write the script for the sequel. As for which actors will be returning, we have the trio of Mina Masood, Will Smith, and Naomi Scott all back for the sequel, reprising their roles as Aladdin, Genie, and Princess Jasmine, respectively. 
they played the main characters, and it would only be normal for them to reprise their roles, seeing how they are alive and well in the story side of things. The only thing left unclear is how big of a role they will play moving forward. In the newest iteration of the classic tale, the characters of Aladdin and Princess Jasmine professed their love for one another, and they were sent to be married, after defeating the villain Jafar, but with the addition of a new story about Genie, specifically after Aladdin uses his third and final wish to set him free, he became a family man, marrying Nassim Pedrad's Dahlia and raising a couple of kids together. Thus, we think that with the new story, we should also expect the return of Nassim Pedrad as Dahlia, with so many other possibilities taken into account, which could all mean that some new cast additions are just around the corner. Now, this will be a tricky one, because so little is known about the story of the sequel, especially since it will not be following directly the events that follow the animated movie The Return of Jafar. For the first movie, we knew that the movie was going to retell the story of the popular animated movie, with a few touches here and there, hence Genie's story side of things. And while some thought that Jafar would be bound to return, now, with the news that came about him not being in the center of attention, we will get a new we will get a fresh, new approach to things, according to the folks behind the scenes, at least. Needless to say, the nostalgic moviegoers who were hoping to see some of their favorite animated movies from their childhoods can be disappointed, as they will not get their wish right to the end. However, looking from a different perspective, this fresh, new take on things could prove to be the best thing to happen for the franchise. A new story invites new possibilities, all of which can prevent the film from falling into the same criticism that it is a second-rate redo. So, with everything said and done, it can clearly be seen that not much is known about the sequel, and you should understand that completely, as the movie is still a ways off. However, the main thing is that a sequel is happening, and we are certain that we're talking for everyone here that we can't wait to see it happen, right? On a related note, tell us in the comments down below what are your thoughts on the live-action adaptation of Aladdin? How did the first movie fare with you, and what would you like to see in the sequel? Which element did you think left a mark in the first movie which proved to be a huge success? And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon if you want to see more videos like this in the future. Thank you for watching, and we will see you next time.